Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Jax221, also known as Jax. And welcome to my crying hole. I come here to have emotional breakdowns. Because you know why I'm sad? This is our last episode of Kingdom Hearts 1. And man, I had fun. So, of course, if you all remember, in our last episode, well, we beat the game. And basically, this episode, it's the epilogue post-game stuff that I want to do. But before we take care of that, I gotta tell you about the stuff I did off-screen. And that first one is... We got level 100! Yay! So far, this is the... Not so far, this is the only Kingdom Hearts game where you actually get to level 100. All, all other games, you kind of just stop at level 99. As for the second thing that I did off screen, and I went and synthesized the last two items for Donald and Goofy, the Fantas Fan Fan Fantasia, Fantasia, and the Seven Elements. Uh, these are. I can't say the best weapons. Basically, they're the highest magic stat weapons for both Donald and Goofy. Um, this, I think, is Donald's best weapon because it's his highest magic stat. Although, it is not Goofy's best weapon because it is not his highest magic. Yeah, it is his highest magic, but it's not his highest attack. So, uh, But they're still fun to get, especially for um, achievement purposes. And when you also complete the entire synthesis list... You come talk to this Moogle. Koopo, Master Synthesis! Oh. Okay, well. I guess it only does it once. But a cute little, like, prompt pops up saying how, like, you're the master at synthesis. It's cute. It's fun. It's neat. It's Kingdom Hearts 1. Alright! Now with all that post-game content I keep talking about. Well, essentially, it's just a uh, <laughs> a boss uh, a uh, boss rush boss rush of some sorts. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts One has like the most post game bo uh, post game boss post game bosses. Damn, why is that hard to say? I don't know. It is kind of early, but at the same time, this is my peak energy level hours. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm experiencing a caffeine caffeine crash right now because I had like. A coffee and an espresso. So we'll see how that turns out. Anyway, enough of my mumblings. As I keep trying to say, we got some difficult bosses to take care of. Five to be exact. And we are going to start off with the easiest, in my opinion, and finish off with the hardest, which I think is the general consensus on that being the hardest boss in the game. All right. What we're gonna do is come to Aladdin's house in Agrabah, and we got this wacky magic carpet. Hey, carpet! What's the matter? I'll ride on the carpet. Anyway, our first secret boss is... Kurt Zisa, and his whole gimmick is to you lock your attacks or your magic. All right now, get now while that while he's down, while I broke his balls, hit him in the face. Yeah, I don't think he's the hardest, but definitely uh, not that much of a pushover fight. With this whole like blocking your magic or your attack attack status, you can get pretty difficult. Oop. Yeah, so now so when he's so when he's got the balls in his hand, you got to use. Um, Ah, oh, God. When he's got the balls in his hands, you gotta use, uh, physical attacks to break it. When he's got the shield... I th what does this do? Yeah. Can't talk and focus. Yeah, um, this is kind of go to show that these, uh... These boss fights are kind of gimmicky, but... Come on, break. Just break. Break your bullshit gimmick. There we go! Let's get his ass down! Can't lock out magic. Come on. Conquer Zisa. 
I'll show you that I'm the bigger Kingdom Hearts fan. I should got my name in the Kingdom Hearts one. Not you. I... Might as well say myself there. I'm not, I'm not risking that shit. I ain't going down. I ain't going down that easy. All right, now come on, Kurt. Get out of here, Kurt. No one likes your dad. Get out of here. Get out of here. And boom, that was Kurt Zisa, the easiest of the five. <laughs> um, overall difficulty, I'll give it a two. And our next stop is going to be Neverland. Y'all know what's up. <laughs> Before we go into this, we're gonna have to set up a few boundaries. We're gonna put Stopra in place of our arrow. Woo! Uh, also, before going to this fight, get as much magic as possible because you are going to need it. Um, in the off chance you don't have the ultimate weapon like I do, Lady Luck will definitely be your best Keyblade for this fight. Um, I showed how to get in the last episode. Not the not the hardest Keyblade to get. But, uh, yeah, you're gonna need a lot of magic for this fight. And we're gonna go ahead and talk to Tinkerbell. I can't understand her. I bet Peter knows what she's saying. Oh, I guess we also need Peter Pan in our party. Fine. No, I thought we could avoid Peter Pan, but apparently not. What is it, Tink? You wanna go to the clock tower? It's up to you, Sora. Uh, let's go. Great, we'll fly together. It's the Phantom! Probably the hardest, uh, fight in the, um, game. Okay, so his whole gimmick is you only heard him with magic. The ball under his cloak will glow one of four colors. If it's red, it's fire. If it's blue, it's blizzard. If it's yellow, it's, um, thunder. If it's clear, it's physical attack. But to make this even more difficult is you got the clock tower to worry about. Which... You want to keep an eye on, because if that thing goes down, it instantly kills your party members. This appropriately gives a lot of people a lot of difficulties. Uh, definitely a very, un probably the most unique boss fight of them all. But you see the clock over Peter's head, he's only got seven Sekiru's left. But, you know, just gotta, you gotta keep, gotta keep patient. Nope, wrong, wrong fucking. There we go. Come on. All right, we're winning, boys. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, God, don't kill my Peter. How are you looking at? Clock, clock's good. This is the most micromanaging boss fight in Kingdom Hearts. It's so stressful, but I love it. Oh, shit, we got this, boys. How are we looking at time? Time's the timer's looking. How's the clock looking? Come on, come on. Stay alive, stay alive. Oh, we did it, and we did not lose a single person. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a phantom. It's a, a very uh, <laughs> stressful fight. Def I would say definitely the most stressful out of all the boss fights in this game because you have to manage the clock, and then you also got to like manage the boss. Um, I would definitely give this a four. And just like that, we finally got the last magic upgrade. Before we continue on, we're actually going to fly all the way back to Traverse Town, Skedaddle. So, now that we have all the Aga versions of every spell, you're going to want to go talk to Merlin. Talk to Merlin. Well, this is quite impressive. Here's, some effort. Here's something for your efforts. Granting us the Dream Rod. Yeah! Now hold on, you dingbat. You forgot to show how to get the other important weapon, the Dream Shield. So just like the Dream Rod, the Dream Shield 2 is given to you by Merlin. To get the Dream Shield, you're gonna need the seven magic arts, which are dropped by white mushrooms. The white mushrooms are heartless that randomly spawn in each world. They will perform a series of gestures that correlate to a specific magic. 
when you correctly guess the magic and the gesture combination correctly three times, they will drop a magic art. In order to have a higher chance of getting a white mushroom to drop a specific magic art, you are going to want to correctly guess with the same magic three times. So if you want the fire art, you're going to want to use fire three times correctly on a white mushroom. Every white mushroom will always perform the fire, blizzard, and thunder gesture in each world you visit. The fourth gesture that they will perform changes depending on which world you're visiting. I've had my best luck with these worlds when it comes to getting uh, those specific magic arts. And once you got all seven of the magic arts, just go back to Merlin in Traverse Town and he will give you the Dream Shield. Now! Back to those bosses. All right. For our next fight, we're going to have to come to Hollow Bastion. If you remember this portal from our Maleficent fight, well, this reappears. But I wonder what mysterious enemy awaits us behind here. Sam? What's that supposed to mean? The final mix only boss fight. The Inanatic Man, the Unknown Man, or Xemnas. I don't know why, but even though like I know the lore behind this cutscene, that still gave me chills. Like this shit was intense back in the day. I'm just gonna kind of fly around and talk for a moment because this of course is a very important boss fight as it kicks off the tradition of all final mix versions of the game including a boss that kind of teased at the next game of the franchise so you know this being in the, the mysterious man who will later be Xemnas in the final boss of Kingdom Hearts 2 in Kingdom Hearts 2 final mix it gave us Lingering Will who was Terra a playable character in Birth by Sleep Birth by Sleep gave us no heart in the uh, Colosseum which of course was Xemnas's Xehanort's armor, in, uh, and Xehanort was the final boss in Kingdom Hearts 3, and then Kingdom Hearts 3 Reminded added Yazora, who is of course going to be an important character in the eventual Kingdom Hearts 4. So yeah, this is a very just kind of cool concept that I think just kind of gives, makes Kingdom Hearts unique, and I am letting my friends die. So let's get in there and finish this fight. Oh god. Alright. Maybe now that I'm not letting me... Oh, I know. Uh, there she is. We'll use Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is actually very good for this fight. Because she can heal you. Come on, get him out of order's health. Come on, Xemnas, you bitch! Fight me! 
Go get some iframes. He can't hurt me when I'm strike raiding. Come on, we got him, boys. We got him, my lord. He's down to green health. Come on, stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Yo, oh, thanks, Donald. Ah. Uh, if I could give me... Oh, at least I got iframes. Come on, just hit him. Boom! Zenness! Um, honestly, I don't find that boss fight too hard. Like, granted, yeah, I kind of, I, I did die, but I kind of was, like, fucking around for that solid, like, first couple minutes of this fight. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's not too hard. It's, if you have, between Arrow, Tinkerbell, and some Elixirs, you can beat it. I'll give it a three. All right, and that was all of the um, one and gone secret bosses. So yeah, sadly you cannot refight Kurt Zisa, the Phantom, or the Zemnis again. Hashtag disappointment. But we still got two more dudes to fight, and wouldn't you know it, they're back at the Coliseum. Phil, what do you got for us this time? You know the rules, kid. Oh man, we got some. Unknown cups. So yes, there are two more fights in the Coliseum we gotta do. Thus being the last two secret bosses we have to take on. So skedaddle skadoodle, let's get on with this noodle. Ice Titan! Alright, so this boss fight's a bit unique. And that you can't hurt it directly because he's so fucking tall. But what you gotta do is you gotta deflect this ice back at him. Now what you're thinking, I'll just cast arrow and that'll easily deflect all the attacks. Well, the developers thought of that, and when you cast arrow. Oh shit, yeah. Also, the camera fucking sucks. Come uh, on, do your thing. Eh, uh, do the thing. There we go. Oh, come on. Yeah. This guy is stunned. We got him with the ice back at him, and he goes down like a sack of ice. Ah. It's like a bull hell boss fight. Actually, that's a cool idea. Oop. Uh, do the swipe. Come on, get him! Yes! <sighs> Go, you bitch! Ooh, maybe I had RS Arcana, no, Ragnarok. That might be good for this fight. I never tried that. Uh, future me. If you ever feel like doing this boss fight or any future advice... Oh god, this is where he starts throwing real shit at you. This is phase three. This is a Dark Souls-ass boss fight. Oh, oh god! Take it to use those iframes to your advantage. Ah, oh, god damn it. I wish I had this god, better depth perception. Come on, fire. Is he just so. Ah! Oh, we got him! Boom! That was the Ice Titan. Yeah, Ice Titan. Um, Difficulty. I'll give it a five. Honestly, yeah, maybe a four, a four. No, we didn't die. It's just, he throws, it's like a bullet hell boss fight. And we get the diamond dust. Uh, this was not in original Kingdom Hearts. This was added in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Um, This is Sora's highest magic keyblade. Uh, granting, giving him a thing, thingamajigger of 16. Um, this could be good for fighting Phantom, but honestly, I would, you probably wouldn't really have it by Phantom. You'd probably do Phantom first, and then Ice Titan. I don't know. 
that's just your preference. But hey, this is Sora's highest magic keyblade. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The last boss of the game. The pen ultimate boss. The platinum match. Sephiroth, now voiced by Lance Bass. Oh god, fuck, I'm an idiot. Got to quit our arrow like a dumbass. God. Stop doing, stop doing that. Let me, oh god, his health is so purple. Oh, there we go, got him out of the purple. Fuck! Should've used an elixir. Should've used an elixir. This is for taking my spot in Smash Brothers! Who are you, bitch? Oh god, he's doing Octa Slash! Here, I'll use my own iframes. Oh, god damn it. Damn it, what the fuck? They, ah, shit. Oh, I broke it. I broke a Sin Heartless Angel. Damn, he got some ups. Sefi got ups. Oh, baby, I'm breaking your Sin Heartless Angels. Oh, this is, this is, this is his, uh, final smash. Ugh, come on. What is this fucking one-winged angel bullshit? <laughs> you spool! You're just standing there. Let me hit you. Get out of my house, Steffi. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, was Sephiroth. Hard hardest boss in the game. Five out of five. Let's fucking go, boy. I obtained the one wing angel, Sephiroth, giving us the one wing angel. Um, not very strong Keyblade, uh, but I think it has the highest critical hit of like 16. Um, but yes. Woo! That was everything that Kingdom Hearts has to offer. We beat Ansem, Seeker of Darkness. We saved the Realm of Light. We got the ultimate weapon. And we beat all five of the hardest bosses in the game. So I think I shall call this the end of our Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Final Mix on Proud Mode Let's Play. I'm Jax221, also known as Jax. And I'll be seeing you all next time.